Hi everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to brute force the directories on a real web server or the directories, web directories of a certain website. So we will be using the two tools that is Derb as well as Derbuster to brute force against the different directories and then try to crawl inside the the website directory and then see some sensitive uh, directories such as admin control panels and sometimes we in some other servers we can find the old versions of the website which might uh, have uh, different uh, bugs sometimes that can link the hacker to the current password if the web developer was stupid enough to to repeat the, the, the passwords so what happens is that uh, i'm sorry for saying the web developer is actually stupid um, but it doesn't make sense if ever it can happen that the web developer uh, repeats the the password so what is happening now let me close the pycharm and close this terminal so now we are going to explore the website that i am going to pick yeah please a uh, legal disclaimer here is that please do not try to do not try to to hack or try in the website that you don't own this website i, I actually don't own this website but i just wanted to demonstrate on the real online website so that you can be able to see how easy is it to get the different administrative um, services or the the different directories uh, using using different uh, software such as derb as well as derbuster we also have so many crawlers or so many uh, software to brute force against the the web directories so for now let me let me open the the web um let me open the the web browser yes i can see that it was compromised long ago so let me pick up this and then if you can see this then let's open um let's open terminator terminator let's open terminator and maybe let's use derb derb it's it can be used easily so let's try to see the different directories that are actually existing uh, hereafter we will be using their buster in order to to brute force the directories and see how they dis display this information so that it can be used by the hackers in order to see how and which parts of the website can be beneficial for the use will um, for further compromise or if ever you are doing some reconnaissance so that you can be able to see what you what 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 can benefit you from here because in the web application penetration testing brute forcing against the different directories might give you uh, so much information like we have said one of the things that you can do this for is to find the administrator control panel or the old versions of this website or the, the safety files that might contain the password or as well as well as the log files that might be kept here so those are some of the information that we can find right here so let's see we can see that now we see about and admin here so if we have found admin so we can go to httpsr.org.ls let me copy this and then open it right here and then see so you can see that you actually can can see the administrator control panel here in actual fact you have not hacked this website in this case what you did was just to enumerate in order to see whether you can be able to find the administrative control panel that will make you be able to brute force or hunt more vulnerabilities inside the website that can link you to getting the usernames and passwords 
and then getting into this website already i know what the username and password is because this website is very very easy to hack and um it has got a lot of vulnerabilities in it and i have seen that so i think the owner might has to 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 harden the some some of the of the of the group there are so many bugs in this um in this website so one of the things that i think you, you okay we can see the assets that contain maybe the bootstrap the css bootstrap uh, all those files as well as the images maybe you can see that there is a gallery here so let's open this um, okay let me so we can see that um let me check gallery gallery like gallery gallery let me open this using chromium browser maybe and then see so i like derb more than i like derbasta by myself because oh this is forbidden okay so let me see so member all publications all this information sometimes you can get some juicy information using them i like them because i don't need a wet list i just uh, paste the, the the url then it gives me the list of directories using its default uh, wet list but what if we can go for derbuster derbuster was developed in java so i have seen that in my c shell if i am running a c shell as my default shell like so um you will see that if you start their buster then it starts uh say pick up java options but if you are using bash as your default shell then you will not be able to see this but it runs smoothly because if i can let me cut this down then go clear and then bash and it, now you can see that i'm no longer running c shell so what i'm i'm doing is um, let me there buster so i will not be able to see that now let me paste this uh, and i want and let me increase the number of threads so that can be faster enough so let me uh, here we need the wet list and let me go to user share then we need the wet lists all right uh, let's go 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 wet lists mm, wet lists wet lists so this is a very good style that the hackers are using in order to see before you can even think because this is actually non-offensive but if you do it on your website that you don't um, let me check for what list there you, you, you go okay then then we have their buster then i can use any of this but i like this one so let me select this and then start so we we are using their buster now um yeah so you will see how how cruel is the information that will be displayed here even though it's not as fast as dev so let me this terminal right here so that we can see okay so let me check in a tree view so this is what you actually see as the first things so you can see that the website um this, it, this makes the website appear in a way that you you feel like it, uh, you feel as if it is in your in your in your in your server or in your local server so it will give you the architecture of this website graphically so this is something that is very nice about this uh their buster more than in deb but the fact that dev is more faster when it comes to to brute forcing 
so you can see that um, here we have got so many uh, results here let me check um, <coughs> already um, we have approximately 53 now okay so let's see all right if you can now open this in a browser then you'll see that all right eh. then we also have the other one called go buster if you you want you can use their buster you can use their or you can use go buster for trying to search for direct results or any other because sometimes um you can even find in the misconfigured servers uh, the web servers that are misconfigured you can find the you can find um even the php my admin links here right here so sometimes you can find as more information as possible on a web server so trying to traverse into these different directories can give you so much information so right here i didn't uh, i wasn't doing the the formal penetration testing so i'm doing this video to make sure that you are able to know how to use either their go buster or um or their buster there are many web application penetration testing uh, software such as Nikto, sometimes it can even give you some sensitive directories. Basically, on the on the WordPress websites and many other as well, and many other CMSs such as Drupal or uh, Joomla. So those are some of the of the good software to scan a, a web server or a website. So this one gives us uh, as good information as possible. So let me check. Uh, okay right um, even this one after you do this then you can be able to provide a report because reporting in penetration testing is very crucial because uh, you need to show what you did in order to to get paid so that the owner can be able to trust what you say what you claim uh, is a vulnerability and the the risk uh, as far as this is concerned because if the server is misconfigured or the website access or there are some older versions of this website and they can be able to down to get downloaded because i saw one of the of the while well, i was scanning an online platform I saw that there was an old version of the website that I could just wget and then come up with the old version of the website. So those are some of the problems that we have seen are made by either IT administrators or IT engineers in this country or in uh, or the web programmers when they host the website they don't delete the old version they just leave it there and then try to see it or see it and download it or any other uh, option so that is actually incorrect to do so one of the things that um, let me check um, to review all right so we have uh, admin let me check what is going on here we have admin and admin let me see Admin login okay. So let's see. So if you want to 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 brute force the usernames and passwords here, you can uh, you can take Hydra and then brute force either username or password. Even though uh, you need to do that my legal disclaimer is i'm not responsible for anything that you are going to do on this on this website but you make sure that if you planning a cyber crime you better go off this channel so i don't think it is wise for me to demonstrate this to you 
and then you do reverse what I, I teach here so you can be able to see different folders as well as files so let's see if then you can see the response code if it's 403 maybe you are prohibited 500 or any other so you can see that um, that is new.php let me see all right so there is news.php and news.php should be having something some some information here so all right now you can be able to see uh, that these tools can be actually crucial in a penetration testing basically when it comes to web applications so guys uh, thank you for watching and happy new year to everyone i believe that this tutorial if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and then please like and comment if you subscribe to this channel you make it grow that makes me make more content thank you very much for watching this tutorial let me close this for upload now okay let me check all right all right let me stop